It is time for the best burger out there. So you're gonna take your burger buns, make sure everything is buttery, you're gonna push them through the butter. So all I'm doing is putting them on both sides, grabbing some of that butter and then pushing it. And now it is time to toast your buns, which is probably one of the most important steps to creating the best burger out there. Look good, smell good. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna put on our plate. All right, so follow me with this. Got a mix of cheddar and then also Swiss. I'm gonna put it right on the plancha and do it in a very long line. For now, while it's starting to melt, make a big, long line. All right, so that looks great. So now, we're gonna set up a little station. So these are our little glasses and you want them equal apart. And the reason being is that I'm gonna take the top of my burger buns, I'm gonna measure it out and place this right on top. So now this fits there and we're good to go. So now it's time to caramelize the cheese and now it's time to go on top of our glasses and we're just gonna let it sit. So spacing is very, very important. Fell down, so now take some tongs and what you're gonna do, you're gonna crimp the sides. So we're gonna form a big rectangle. The exact same thing, crimp and crimp and this is gonna hold it in place. All right, so now I have my fresh fries out. I'm gonna flip this over. But does that not look absolutely amazing? You're gonna take your fries, you're just gonna dump them in all the way. All right, just gonna place it in. Keep it warm. All right, so now it's time to take out the little burgers. So I'm just gonna let those fall. So I'm just gonna kind of spread them out, just like so, a little bit off angle. All right, so follow me over here. I got a bowl. I'm gonna dip it in some olive oil. Now this is the fun part, and you can do this with the kids. You're gonna press it down, and look how cool that is. And then it just comes right off. Always have to season the meat, so I'm gonna go salt all the way around. All right, so now it's time to bring the cheddar into the mix. So we're just gonna place on them. So now it's time for our wonderful crisp bacon. And of course, I did it in the oven. Now it's just time to continue. And man, does that not look heavenly good. All right, great. All right, so now we need to start assembling on our burger bun. So we're gonna let all that cheese melt. Place that there. Now it's time to arrive with our big boy. All right, so you're gonna grab the same place, lift up, and we're just gonna put it right on top. Spread your burger out to make sure everything's sitting. Gotta add a little extra step. I love cheese and I love cheese sauce. So we're gonna pour this right over the top. Just let it fall, all right. And of course, wow, it's still going. I'm gonna add some uh, pickled jalapenos right on top. And wow, look at everything that you got now for this bacon cheeseburger. And it's just gonna come out and looky, looky. You have everything you want in one bite. How am I gonna do it? I don't know, but might as well try. Uh, wonderful. And for me, Gotta have the help, you know. All right, one out from Chef Club. Same thing. Nice. All right, I'm gonna stand them all up. <laughs> Chop off the bottom. And why am I gonna do this? So it sits flat. All right, so I'm gonna cut this last one off here. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little stand-up gang. Everybody's at the party. Now, why is the reason I'm doing this? Well, I'm gonna take a classic like tomato soup. And I'm gonna throw one heck of a twist at it. Always have a little bit of decoration. And now it is on to the next step. And now that twist is gonna start with these big bad boys. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my donuts, and these are not glazed, by the way. And the reason being is this little step here. So take your donuts, put it on top of two glasses, spread them out just evenly. Now I have my homemade vanilla glaze and you're gonna pour it right over it. So go a little fast with it. All right, so now on to the next step very, very quickly. So we're gonna take our donuts and you're just gonna pop them off. One, two, three. Let's get this last one on here. And four. Now while the glaze is not set yet, I'm gonna do a little line for you. Get your bacon 
And yes, this is going to be a little bit heavy on the bacon. And this is why we glazed them. I'm going to let this sit just for about 10 minutes. All right, so now what you're going to do, you're going to take a serrated knife and go right through the center, long ways. Just go slow. All right, so now, so what you're going to do, you're going to take your pieces of cheddar cheese. I'm going to do two per side. And no, it's not enough, in my opinion. And here is the trick. Place a little mozzarella ball right in the center on your first ones, not with the bacon. And now we just need to toast everything, and then we'll get into flipping, and then we'll get into melting. All right, so now what I like to do with this little method, it's called the two spatula method. So you're gonna push down, and so no cheese can get through that hole. Oh, you hear it? It sounds great. We need to set ourselves up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the clothes hanger, and I'm just gonna bend down on one end, and this is gonna help it so that it holds better. All right, so follow me back here. So now we have, wow, do they not look absolutely incredible? I'm gonna grab it, just like this, and then we're just gonna hang it. So you might need your hands just a little bit. I'm gonna push through where it's at, just like that, and now it's just gonna hang. So you have a hanging donut grilled cheese. All right, so now I got my last one here, guys. Just gonna go in, lift it up, i will place it, find the hole in the back. And now what they're gonna do, guys, they're just gonna fall down over time into the grilled cheese. All right, so I'm gonna take it off, a little ring stand. Oh man, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. I know I got it all in my face, probably again. This is absolutely amazing. Make sure you try this only on chefclub.tv. I'll check you later, guys.